Hey what's up guys welcome to my channel this is DTech here this is Tag OS running on my Poco M4 Pro 4G so those who guys don't know how to flash this is an GSI build which I have running on my phone with Magisk fully working if you can see I have Magisk fix on it um, overall this Tag OS looks good it's fine it depends on your gsi and your kernel how it is so if you have a if you have a developer who's developing for kernels for your phone on a gsi i think it would run much better the stock kernel has a bit issues here and there i'm not getting that much performance but it's not throttling as well i'll just show you the throttle test so that's the throttling test so it seems fine it doesn't drop below 80 sometimes it's after a long time it just spikes up to 90 so it's going up to 90 it gives good it shows here that it gives good performance but I checked on uh, Geekbench the scores Geekbench scores came up really low came up as 1027 and single score was really low so it's very low for this device it gives 1700 or something like that the score but it's very very low maybe it's the kernel's fault i don't know maybe it's this gsi which is on the phone i didn't get any stutter scrolling it's a bit stuttery but if you can disable hardware overlay it works fine so if you go to power setting the third option then go to force fps to 90 and disable hardware overlay this one it should give you smooth scro scrolling experience i don't know if you can see it on the phone but once you install it you're gonna know what's the problem it's it's just Disable this one and put it into 90 if you want 60 you can put it in 60 it doesn't it gives good battery life on 60 so Click all three options all these three options because um, of the brightness it will go up and down here and there you, it, Now it's smooth But when you boot up you're gonna find that the brightness has some issues do that and then go to this IMS features turn on both of this then uh, these are extra features if you want you can change here as well I will I enable DT2W and then uh, those features I just tap on this one so that it works sometimes it doesn't work on GSI so you need to click on that and then reboot mm -hmm and one more thing as soon as you put gsi if you still not getting good performance i would suggest you to go to your kernel and change it into performance instead of uh, as uh it, it basically be on uh, user space or no then scheduled it will be on one of them so just put it on performance to get good performance so that's it guys that's the performance for your m4 pro 4g on gsi so i'm gonna show you how to install another gsi and i'm gonna run a benchmark on that if it's the same performance I would say not to install it for a daily driver if you are using MIUI and if you want a stable one for everything 
for the gaming for normal uses so stick on the miui for now as soon as a custom rom which is basically used for which is built and can be used i would post it and let you guys know